Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Polynerdic Playtest. Today I'm taking a look at Microsoft's Games with Gold's offerings for the 1st of June in 2016. The first game up is Goat Simulator on the Xbox One. This game is an absolute joke and I don't mean that in a funny kind of way. I mean it's a joke and how did this game ever get made and how did anyone ever feel okay paying 10 bucks for it. Even as a freebie, this game is a disappointment. It's a physics simulator where you play as a goat running around breaking things and that's all. The joke gets old within minutes, uh, maybe even quicker if you have less of a tolerance for stupid bullshit. Uh, the, the game literally just is you running around as a goat, licking things, headbutting things, smashing things. It's very buggy. I can appreciate a bug here and there in a game. But when the entire game is built around being buggy, it gets old really, really fast. I have no idea how anyone in their right mind thought it was okay to charge 10 bucks for this, or let alone pay for it. As you can see, the, the game is extremely, extremely poorly made. And they do it with a sort of tongue-in-cheek, haha, this is funny, look how bad our game is, manner, but I personally got tired of it within moments. And it, it's, just, it's just bad. I'm very disappointed in Microsoft. I'm almost ashamed to be a Microsoft Xbox owner that they thought this is the sort of thing that is okay to, to reward their subscribers with. It, it's just bad. Stay away from it. Don't waste the time downloading it. Don't waste the space on your hard drive. I'll be deleting it as soon as I'm done with this video and will likely never return to it. Obviously, I was very disappointed with the Xbox One Goat Simulator offering. But Microsoft nearly redeemed themselves here with Super Meat Boy on the Xbox 360. For those who don't know what it is or what it's about, Super Meat Boy is a platformer that I believe came out in 2010. Wherein you control a little guy made of meat trying to save his girlfriend who appears to be made of bandages from what appears to be a fetus in a jar wearing a tuxedo. It's a very bizarre, uh, kind of screwed up concept. But the game works because it is a old school platformer that is based entirely on precision and timing. Uh, the levels get very difficult as you progress. They're all very quick levels as you can see here where I've tore through a number of them while talking. And as you go through the game it starts out kind of holding your hand explaining the, the physics of the game. And then very quickly gets difficult to the point that like, but never to the point where you want to throw the controller down in frustration. It's a game that is difficult but rewarding. And the simplicity of it. It's a game that is kind of a, a one-note joke, but actually works. It's kind of the opposite of Goat Simulator. I don't know if that's intentional, or they took two games that are kind of, you know, uh, one-trick ponies, so to speak, and put them out together. Uh, for the love of me, I still can't figure out why they put out Goat Simulator. I feel like that's almost a punishment sort of game, and not what you should do uh, to people that pay you money every month. Whereas Super Meat Boy is kind of a, a nice reward. It's, it's, it's a treat for people that have never got to play it like myself. I really, really enjoyed this game. Uh, like I said, though, it gets very difficult. You expect to die a lot when you play it. I died close to 100 times in the first hour of playing it, just trying to figure out my way through some of the more difficult puzzles. And uh, it, it's just... It's old school hard in a rewarding way. And I think that definitely makes it worse your time. It's free right now, obviously. Um, definitely worth the tiny bit of hard drive space it takes and the time it takes to download. It gets my seal of approval. I think you should check it out if you're a fan of you know platformers or video games in general. Just check it out and I'll be back later in the month with another playtest for the second batch of games for June 2016. I believe it's The Crew and XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, the latter one, XCOM, is a game I've been hoping will come to backwards compatibility for a long time. I'm very glad to see it making its rounds finally to the Xbox One so I can stream it and share it with you guys. So you already know what I think of that one, uh, but I digress. Uh, I'll be back later in the month with more of uh, the Xbox One freebies and uh, keep an eye out for other new videos as they come out. Streaming, you know, streaming videos from my Twitch account as well as new playtest as I get my hands on new games via rentals and whatnot. Thanks for watching.